So Paige, you've had a few days to process it now. What are the overriding feelings following last week's result? I think it was just the error and obviously the discipline at key moments. Um, we did have a few changes and uh, we felt that they contributed well, but in key moments, uh, those combinations didn't work to the highest level that we expect. Um, but overall, we felt we were in the game and possibly could have sneaked it, but it wasn't to be and it was uh, a disappointing end. Yeah, you touched on a few work-ons there. What sort of focus have we been looking at this week in, in training? I just think a lot more around shape, around our attacking shape, and, and again, you know, just making sure that we're in the right places, working early off the ball. Uh, the contact area is always a focus for us, uh, but again, we'll go in, making sure that we've got all our own sort of ducks in a row in attack and making sure the discipline's at the, the highest level. I was speaking to some of the coaching staff last week and, and obviously through the season about how strong our, our squad is and we certainly have been tested with, with injuries and un unavailability in recent weeks. So so how are we approaching training weeks, I guess, with that in mind? And does it does it change anything? Yeah, the, the numbers do have a factor. You obviously want to try and create the, the scenarios that you'll see in a game and having 15 on 15 really does help. That said, you know, we do cope, we mix and match around, the guys are very adaptable, uh, so training looks on the whole very similar. So selection-wise, there are some changes again, uh, there's a reshuffle in the pack with Antonio Kirikiri coming back in, and a new halfback pair in a Schwartz and Arwell. Alex O'Meara gets to start, and on the bench we see Will Gibson come in, and a, and a potential debut for Garen Phillips. Is it a case of refreshing things, or, or giving players some chances? Well, I think, uh, firstly, that the selection is based on you know who we think is going to give us the big contribution on the day. Um, some of the guys have got their opportunity because of lack of form, and some of them have got it through consistent improvement. You know, so we feel our squad strong enough uh, to to warrant selection on on those factors. And uh, on the weekend, we feel that's the strongest side possible going out. And London Scottish at the Monet this weekend, a team that ran us close at the RAG earlier in the season and their league position doesn't really tell the full story of how they're playing, does it? No, it doesn't. I mean, you've only got to watch their last few games. They're a, they're a strong, powerful, robust side. Um, obviously, the, the league has run away from them somewhat. Um, that said, we've got to make sure that we've got our, you know, our ducks in a row. We know what we're doing. We've ticked every box. We come out, we get the attitude right, and it is a must. Not only do we need to win the game, we need to win by five points. Uh, and, and again, I say this, I don't mean any disrespect by that, is that for every point that we drop, it Ely moves away that little bit further. And finally, as always, we look forward to getting back to our home support and it must be something we're relishing after a tough few weeks on the road. Absolutely. You know, they make such a huge difference to us. So, uh, you know, a full house will definitely give us the win behind our sails. Cheers, Paige. Best of luck for the weekend. Cheers.